Coach, can you just talk about um, team like SIU? We just played with a lot of heart tonight, and just hard to match that. Yeah, the energy just that's the difference in the game. Two totally different energies, uh, playing for total two totally different things. I don't have an answer for that. Apologize. What did you tell your guys in the locker room? To win a conference championship, you got to go. You got to be able to win in tough environments. You know, Jacksonville State. You got to be able to win at Edwardsville. You know, you got to have the same emotion to play Belmont as you do to play Edwardsville. They all count the same. Beating Belmont's no bigger than beating um, ten, winning at Tennessee Martin or winning at um, I don't know who else we beat, winning at Tennessee Tech or wherever it may be. Uh, they all count the same. You only add them up one at a time. Uh, supposedly, I think Belmont lost tonight, so that's just really a you know when you you know. It's hard to win a championship, winning a conference championship, an outright conference championship, or a conference championship in general is hard to do. And uh, we've been fortunate and blessed to win it the last three years. We had a break go our way to where if we would have finished out well, we could win four in a row, and you know, we didn't get it done. That doesn't mean that's always over yet, but you know, we, you know, we had opportunities, and I can't explain tonight. It's frustrating. Talk about the defensive effort that SIU did kind of on Isaiah. I know he ends up with 20, but uh, they were doubling him a lot. And, um, you know, there were spurts there where, where he was kind of quiet. Yeah, I mean, we just um, you know, we struggled shooting the ball in the second half. I mean, I thought we got to the rim. I mean, they did a good job, credit them. Uh, but, I mean, we got we got to the rim a lot. Uh, we missed a ton of layups. We turned it over 17 times. Um, we only got to the free throw line 13 times, um, you know. I don't know. It's amazing how much penetration we have. Only shoot 13 free throws, but um, you know, we're three for 16 from the from the three-point line. We tried to go inside. We thought that was an advantage. We knew they were going to double the post. Uh, we turned it over a lot out, you know, from the post. Um, but credit over to a lot of energy, um, you know. And I knew when I found out they kicked the one kid off the team, I knew it was going to be a different team. I thought they knew they were going to have a different focus, and they did. And you know, credit to them. That's a that's a big win for them. How did that ch kind of change your your approach maybe last minute? Like, I mean, because he's their leading scorer, averaging 16 points it a game. It didn't change our, our approach. I mean, if you're not ready to play at 7 o'clock, I mean, we found out at 6.58 that he wasn't playing. Um, so, I mean, if we're not ready to play then, you know, you're not going to be ready to play. But, you know, we came out, we finally got going. We were up 24-17. We let him right back in the game. Um, second chance. We had a chance at the end. As bad as struggled we, that we did all night, we rebound the ball. But you know, they get a big offensive rebound. You know, and they they made free throws down the stretch. And you know, Yelovich stepped up and, and, and made some big plays for them. But um, this is a bad loss. Not because it's just because of the ramifications of it. It's a tough, tough loss. You know, and the thing about Edgeville, you know, they've got good support. They, these people here, you can get a good. Good atmosphere in here, you know, with so many people, and, and they did, and they were excited and ready to play. And so credit them for the win. Well, Mark, just uh, talk about this win. Is this the biggest win you've had in your career? Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, we uh, since I've been here, I don't think we've ever beat them, and uh, I mean, they're, they're the best team in our conference probably every single year. So I mean. Just to, to beat them, I, I mean, my last year, and you know, that's the last time I'll ever see those guys, and uh, it means a lot for me. And you know, it's a huge win for our like, community, our fans. You know, rush the court. It's just good to see, you know, that the happiness around the uh, the community and around campus. Kind of talk about, you know, coming into the game, you know, with you know, Jerome's out, you guys, you know, Tim has to come in, and gets a start, and steps up, and. Get a lot of guys, high intensity night, coming in and, and playing a lot of minutes. I mean, so right. We, we, I mean, we just had a, a lot of guys, you know, just step up in a lot of different ways. I thought um, Charles uh, he hasn't played much all year. He came in and gave us great minutes. You know, scored a few. Didn't turn the ball really. He, he executed the game plan well. I thought Tim Tim stepped up, and I, I thought Tim could do that all year. You know, I I think he's at he's a good, great player where he can come in and. Or he can be a starter all year, so I thought, yeah, definitely, guys stepped up, and we, I mean, we need that the rest of the season. Yeah. Mike, can of talk about what's what's going through your head there at the end when you're staying at the free throw line? Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I was actually, I was pretty happy because, I mean, well, just 
on the season, uh, you know, my percentages have been pretty well from free throw line, and we all knew that, you know, all we needed really was a couple of stops and get some rebounds, and then they were going to foul us. And I think it started with Mark knocked down his two, and then just going to the line, I just knew, you know, it was my turn. I had to knock some down so we could, you know, make sure we could secure the victory. And uh, luckily for us, that's what happened. Kind of talk about Isaiah Cannon a little bit, and uh, you guys. I know you guys had to double him a lot, and, uh, but we just just kind of talk about. Yeah, I mean he's he's guardian. definitely he's yeah he's a great player. I mean we knew coming into the game that he's he's the key to their team. I think the whole conference knows that that you know he's that guy that every time you go out there you know that um, you know if he gets off and has a really big game it's going to be tough to beat them, and you know he's been having a great season. So we knew that just. You know that he's going to get some points here there just because he's a great player, but just like, the game plan was just, you know, contest him, make all his shots challenged. And uh, like Mark said, I think TJ did, really did a great job of that. And then um, when he did somehow get a break, uh, like to the basket, I think our bigs did a really good job of uh, helping and just making sure we at least contested the shot to make it tougher. Can you guys talk about what you did to neutralize the racers' close presence? It seemed like Garrett and Daniel were, you know, sometimes not even factors. Um, well, yeah, I mean, coming into the game also, we know that along with Cannon, um, you know, especially, I mean, you starters like Daniel and Garrett, they definitely have a size advantage on us. And I think just the, phys uh, the physicality of Schaefer and, uh, you know, Darian and Ray, who actually I think stepped up and had just a really big game, and especially when we started to make that run in the second half, just really had some just contested, you know, just kind of bumping them down low, just making sure that, you know, if they did get offensive rebound or if they did get in, in the post that we were just trapping, you know, just hounding them, making it as tough as possible, and then making sure we just come back and then attack them and the other side to try to get them in foul trouble. Mark, you've played with those guys before. You know, it's, it's tough to battle them, I guess, physically. You know, what did you right. think of their intensity? Could you tell any difference tonight? Right, I mean, those, those two bigs, are, I mean, they're, they're great players. You know, Daniel's a big guy. He's strong. But I thought um, just us, <clears throat> Shea pushing Daniels off the block a little bit, and us trapping them really uh, affected their offense and affected what Daniels was going to do. So I thought it made it really tough for those guys to uh, get easy baskets. Mark, just talk about what you guys can take away from this win now down the stretch run and, you know, your your uh, first opportunity to play in postseason play and all the I mean, what, what can this do for the team? I mean, like I said, this is a huge win for, I mean, everyone here, our, the community, the fans, just everybody around Edwardsville. And, um, I mean, this is going to give us great confidence, you know, for the next, um, I think we have four more games of confidence. It's going to be next, great confidence for these next games and um, know that, I mean, we can beat anyone in the conference that, that now that we beat them. So, like I said, it's going to give us great confidence. And now, um, hopefully, I mean, we keep playing like we did tonight and executing the game plan and everyone's, positive and um, knowing that we could beat anyone. All right, well, Lennox, I mean, this has got to be the, the the biggest win you've had since you've been here. Maybe the the, the well, biggest. The I'll tell you, they're, they're all big. You know, like, they're, they're all big. But, yes, this is a sweet one uh, just because, you know, you look at Murray State and what they've done, and, you know, I, I think they're the, the the cream of the crop with, with Belmont right now in our conference and, and some other schools. So it's it's really good for our guys, you know, to be able to uh, play their butt off and, and uh, stay together as a team and, and walk away with a win. You know, sticking to the game plan, uh, playing team basketball, um, you know, making, making hustle plays. And um, I, I thought our guys did a great job to where I didn't think tonight we beat ourselves, but we, we played really hard to where we could put ourselves in a position to win the game. A couple weeks ago at Murray, you came away from that loss, and I know you were smiling because you were happy with the way you played and the way you executed the game plan for the most part. What changed to to get it to be 40 minutes this time? Well, you know what? Uh, I mean, we had the same game plan, um, which was pretty simple for our guys to understand what we were doing uh, from a uh, defensive um, standpoint. And um, you know, but after watching the tape, I, I thought we broke down a lot of ways. You know. And one was we. I thought we turned the basketball over and gave them some easy baskets to where they were. They it was. They weren't earning a lot of shots. They were earning by because of good defense that they played. Um, and, um, and and tonight I thought we did a better job taking care of the basketball. We had 14 turnovers, um, but you know again, some of our turnovers were charges. So it wasn't turnovers that they were racing out and going down and, and, and scoring easy baskets. 
you talk about, I mean, I know you got an email at 6 o'clock that, uh, you know, Jerome was suspended for the rest of the year. So, you know, you moved him into the starting lineup and you, some of these guys like Lester and Joy are coming off the bench and getting more minutes than, mm -hmm. than maybe they normally see. And, I mean, all, all those guys were, were just huge tonight. I mean, just talk about the intensity that, that they stepped up in it with the adversity. Well, you know, certainly. You know, I, I thought those guys did a great job, and that's just part of you know, sport is is when you're not working as hard, or or when you get your chance, you know, are you ready to step up? And I thought those two young men did a great job stepping up and really helping us. I thought Tim Johnson did a great job on Cannon. I understand that he had uh, 20 points, uh, but you know, I thought it was hard 20 that he earned. Um, and I thought Charles Joy gave us some really really good minutes as far as passing the basketball, and he's been trickling in into our offense, into our, our uh, game a little bit playing, you know, and he's getting confidence, but it, for him, it all starts from practice, and uh, he's doing a better job at practice, and he kind of, you know, earned some minutes playing the games, and uh, I thought he did a tremendous job with the minutes he got, so hopefully that can continue, because we go, we're going to need everyone, you know, I mean, it, it, we got to keep Chris Davis out of foul trouble, because we don't have another point guard with Reggie Reed being out and, and Mo Wilts obviously being out for the rest of the year. You know, so we got to still play smart where we can't get in foul trouble. But I, those guys came off the bench and did awesome. I thought Michael Messer was good, giving us some good minutes at the uh, point, you know, without really without turning the basketball over. And I thought we got some, uh, uh, some good shots, even though, you know, we, I mean, you look at a guy like him, he played the four, he plays the three, he plays the two, and now he has to play the one. You know, so he's very versatile and, and kind of a glue guy. But I thought our guys did an unbelievable job tonight sticking together and, and fighting through adversity to uh, come up with a win tonight. Brandon, did you decide to be when you realized there was a court storming? You know what? I didn't notice it until I, all, all of a sudden I went through the line shaking hands and uh, I turned around and there was that, which I thought was great. You know, and I saw our guys was in the middle of it. And, uh, you know, I was tempted to jump in there, too, but I was afraid I may get hurt. So uh, I took my old non-athletic butt and just went over and did the radio. Did you, did you kind, of make, kind of maybe cringe a little bit because you guys are so, so shallow on the bench, uh, making, hoping nobody know, got hurt? No, most players. certainly. But, uh, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's an unbelievable moment for our institution, for our athletic program, uh, for our community, for our fans, for our student. You know, so why not? Let them enjoy it. And, um, and then we'll just uh, deal with the consequences later, I guess. <laughs> I mean, how important was it you guys were able to come out and get a lead right right from the start? I know they came back there at the half, but you go into the half only down by two. I mean, with, I mean, how important was that against Oh, You know, most important, man. If you look at what the body of work that we've done over the season, you know, I think we've done a, a pretty decent job as far as over the past years, we've, we've come up pretty slow where now guys are understanding the, the mentality, that they, the focus, the, the drive that you have to have to start the basketball game. And if you look at what we've done over the season, I can't remember a game where we just come out, came out flat. You know? and, and, and it was important against um, uh, Murray State. And the reason is, I think Murray State is a, is a great team in the second half. And you know, that, that sh even showed when we played them the first time there when we were up 11 and hit the first shot in the, in, the, in the second half to go up 14, then they hit a three, and then we came back, hit a three, and all of a sudden they went on a run. So we knew the second half what was, was their half. So we had to make sure that we were very solid in the first half and then try to get, uh, match their intensity in the, in the second half, and, and I thought our guys did that. We didn't get them going in, in the second half, and I thought that helped us you know, kind of grind it out and build a little lead. Then all of a sudden, typical us, we boom, boom, you know, they scored real quickly, and, um, and, and then all of a sudden it was a three-point ball game. But, uh, you know, I, basketball is a game of runs, and I thought our guys did a great job as far as keeping their focus and continue to uh, um, adding on to the lead and, and, and um, step up at the free throw line. I thought that was huge for us tonight where, you know, as a team, we're shooting 66%, I believe, from the free throw line, and tonight we were right around 78%, you know, which was, which was huge as far as us making free throws.